In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily record a webinar. Hi, I'm Andy from TechSmith, where we help you show what you know. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly what you need to do so you can successfully record a webinar to reference or share the recording later on. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep getting helpful video content and click the bell to be notified as soon as it's available. Let's get started. First, you'll wanna download a screen recorder. In this video, I'll be using Snagit. If you don't already have Snagit, there's a link in the description below for a free trial. Next, set up your recording. With your webinar already open, hop over to Snagit and select the video tab. Press the red capture button and use the crosshairs to select the area of your screen you want to record. If you're going to launch the webinar full screen, select full screen. In the video toolbar, make sure that the system audio is toggled to on because this means the video will capture the sound from your computer. To record your microphone for voiceover commentary or to add your reactions, you can select the record microphone switch too. But otherwise, that should probably be turned off. Once you're all set up, it's time to record your webinar. Just before the webinar starts, click the record button and Snagit will start recording after a three second countdown. While the webinar is running, be careful not to move your browser window or tab between applications. Snagit is recording everything that happens inside the selected area. To finish recording when the webinar ends, hit stop. When you end your recording, it will open automatically in the Snagit editor. Now that the recording is complete, let's edit and save your video. To remove unwanted sections, move the playhead to the beginning of the section you want to remove, then move the red handle to the end of the unwanted section and click cut. To save your webinar recording, click share and then choose from popular social media and sharing destinations like YouTube, Dropbox, Screencast, or to save your video files locally as MP4s on your computer, choose the share to file option. One last tip, recording your screen can reduce the performance of your computer. To reduce the possibility of screen lag or jumpy video, close applications that you're not using and consider lowering the resolution of your computer screen temporarily. And there you have it. In just a few easy steps, you can record and share a webinar. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and click that bell to be notified when we release more great content. Thanks for watching.